Hey guys, this is Cassandra Shaw reporting for LA Times High School Insider, and we're here with the cast of Bizarre Bar. I'm Devorah Ledridge, and I play Amelia Duckworth on the show. My name is Madison Hu, and I play Frankie Wong. Hey, I'm Olivia Rodrigo, and I play Paige Alvera. Now, who has the hardest time, you know, holding in their laughter? Or um, We all have our fair share. I think Madison and I, we definitely laugh a lot, because I think we laugh a lot, like, in between takes, and when we're, like, actually supposed to be focused, we're like, ah! just can't like switch between it yeah. <laughs> I think it's usually yeah well it's because we usually have like the most scenes together and it's just like us and then we're like trying to entertain ourselves and we're like hey look at that rock and we're like ah! <laughs> Maddie you actually have a lot of faces that like make us laugh like your little the show every once in a while show I don't know okay so let's say someone asks me do I have anything in my teeth and there's something in their teeth and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like Ugh. Do, you have a, do you have a name for that face I don't have a name for it yet I don't know what I should name it. Let's name it, guys. Okay. The uh oh face. <laughs> the uh oh face. <laughs> uh oh face. Yes. Um, has this face made its debut on camera? Not yet. I'm planning to make it. I'm planning to sneak it in somewhere. I don't know and, where. And then in the creds, you can give some creds to me yeah, for yeah, um, you know helping you guys coin the name. Thinking. But if you could choose a different genre to dabble in, what would it be? I wouldn't be really. I wouldn't really, really be good at the perfect perfection thing. I'm not really good at makeup. Don't you don't you like to like dress up or like? Yeah, I love to. I love to do that. I just don't think I would be able to like do my hair. I'd be like, okay, guys, today we're gonna straighten and brush. <laughs> so like I, that's all I'd be able to know. <laughs> what is like the craziest dare you guys have done? Yeah. The only dare that I felt really like proud of myself for doing is um, when we were actually filming the pilot for this like a year ago, Madison was like, okay, Olivia, I dare you to try seaweed. She's a picky eater. I know. I was such a picky eater and I was like, seaweed, that's disgusting. No. She tried it. She was like, it tastes like fish. But like a year later, no, I eat it every day. And I don't know. That's pretty cool. Oh, also on the pilot, um, Ethan and all of us, um, we ate a lime. We just like... Oh, put it in our mouth yeah. and it was wow. yeah it was intense i've been dared to eat different types of foods mm -hmm. um and i'm i love food like any food um and i was dared to like eat like i was supposed to like put it on like a cracker or something it was like a really really hot like really really hot hot sauce and it was like i was like okay yeah i'll down it and i was like i don't need the cracker and i just like put it in my mouth it was so regrettable it was horrible <laughs> me and uh, my friend and i once we drank red bull for the first time which got us very like hyped up and my friend was like i dare you to climb to the top of the light pole i got like maybe like um three like three fourths of the way up i will never do it again oh. yeah like the light pole like on the street i climbed i don't know why that helped me conquer my fear of heights which is now gone social media also comes with its like downfalls there are negative sides to it have you dealt with you know haters on your social media and how do you deal with that i've dealt with it really bad i actually went through really bad bullying when i was in seventh grade and it got physical and social media did not help with it but i think just the number one thing you can do is just block that person and ignore them but sometimes when people especially like some not everybody likes our show and if i ever do get a rude comment about it a lot of times i'll just like send hearts back and they end up following me and it's really weird and I don't know why but it's like sending love back and it kind of like compromises the hate um, yeah hate comments used to get to me a lot when I would just when it would be like one maybe every couple of months or and it would just be kind of something that would catch my attention um, and I like I was like oh gosh this person said it, it must be true but then I just I just learned that like I shouldn't dwell on like something that it's like it's so small. Like, have you guys ever felt that you'd never fit in? And if so, have you right now found a sort of place where you do feel like you do belong? Growing up with the bullying, I, I didn't think that I was going to ever fit in to anything. I didn't really have a lot of friends, like girlfriends. And um, I was never really in the popular girls group. And I didn't know what I was going to do. And then I found acting. And I got on the show. And the girls are so nice. I told my mom when I went in the audition room, I was like, Mom, I really want to book this show because the girls are so nice and I want to spend every day on set with them and I remember saying that to her and it's it's really cool because now like I don't know we've become really close and it just doesn't 
I don't know. It's like you find your place. <laughs>